Hi guys, welcome back to Gypsy Flower. So today's video I wanted to share Scout's top five with you guys. I figured this would be a good idea for sharing new things, sharing new toys, different things that he's using and learning and playing with and wearing without being too much of a long update video. So this will be the first one. I'll probably do it every couple of months and you guys, if you have kids yourself, will maybe find some new suggestions for things or, I don't know, be able to give me ideas for stuff. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing I wanted to share is a toy, but it's also educational because this has helped Scout learn his alphabet so much. And we got this for him for his birthday and he plays with it every single day he grabs it and makes us use it and he does it himself and this is the leapfrog scribble and write pad now this is it looks super simple but it is just a little pad that is almost it's sort of almost like it's got a water underneath it and when you press it down obviously it creates a seal and then it looks like you've drawn on it but it also has the pen here which has a little sensor inside because it has two levels and you can choose which level you have, hopefully. Level one. Let's write letters and numbers. She's Start very persistent. So basically, you pick a number, you pick a letter, and you can choose. Press a letter or a number button. She's gonna turn her off. And you choose either your letters, your uppercase or lowercase letters. And once you've chosen that, it will come up on the screen and you can then trace your letters. It will also tell you what the letters are. And I think at some point it says the phonetic sounds as well, I'm not 100% sure. You'd think I would be considering he uses this all the time, but it's brilliant and it has different flashy lights and you can follow it. And the different levels are basically, the first level is it will show up on the pad and then you can draw it and there's no pressure. The second one, it comes up and you have to follow the lights. So you have to do it. And if you don't follow the lights, it'll obviously tell you to start again. So it does help you to learn to write letters. So far whilst using this, Scout has learned to write his H, a T, an X, a U. He did a G the other day. Um, and a lot of this he doesn't, he does on here, but he also will then go and do it, say on his magnetic drawing pad or paper and pencils and he'll do it that way too and he's always telling us what the letters are as well so it shows that he does know and he's not just copying this thing now i think we picked this up from tesco's for about 10 pounds if you look online i've just had a quick look they are still available all sorts of places um boots tesco's i guess toys r us and places like that would do this too and yeah only about 10 pounds and so so worth every single penny because before he kind of well he knew his alphabet but not to the extent he does now and this has helped him with holding his pen and writing and he just loves it now i couldn't do a top five without including tv because let's face it kids watch tv if your child does not watch tv you are a superhuman because i cannot get anything done if i don't have a little bit of time where scout is just sat down watching a little bit of television and I can then toddle off and clean the kitchen or do something like that. So currently Scout is obsessed with Peppa Pig. He loves Peppa. He went through a stage of loving Paw Patrol. He still loves Paw Patrol, but more for the Paw Patrol toys. And I'll get onto that in a minute and stuff like that. He doesn't tend to watch Paw Patrol on TV all that much anymore. He likes Justin's house. He likes the Teletubbies, but I don't really enjoy that so much. I don't really think it's that educational. Um, so, I mean, Peppa Pig isn't educational either, but I don't really like Teletubbies, if that makes sense. I mean, if he wants to watch it, he can watch it. I do like the more educational programs that teach, you know, colours and shapes and things like that. He loves Mr. Maker. He loves Mr. Maker shapes. Um, and yeah, he, he does take everything in when it comes to television. But for the most part, if you ask him what he wants to watch on TV, it will be Peppa Pig. <laughs> so on the subject of Paw Patrol, an item of clothing that he is liking wearing a lot at the moment, and there is this one and a slightly different one, is his Chase Paw Patrol hoodie. Now this is from Tesco's, I believe it was £12, and it is proper Paw Patrol branded hoodie, and I tend to put him in hoodies rather than coats at the minute because the weather is so temperamental, like, it's not really cold enough to wear a full-on coat, 
but sometimes it's not warm enough to just go out with nothing on your arms so he does wear his hoodies quite often um he has this paw patrol one with chase on the back and he also has a spider-man one which has a hood that comes over with a mask on it and then he becomes scout boy so he wears those a lot and he generally wears a hoodie most days so his favorite clothing are his hoodies because he likes to play characters and all sorts next up is something i never ever thought i would be sharing and i didn't think he'd be so into it but i dug out my ipad my old ipad the other day because whilst we were out i downloaded a couple of games on my phone to keep him entertained whilst i was doing something and he became obsessed so i thought okay i don't use my ipad anymore so i will get this out and put you know some apps on it for scout so i've generally gone for like the learning games the shapes the you know the alphabet that kind of stuff but the two games that he is loving at the moment are this one called dino puzzle and it is just super simple dinosaur puzzles that you can click on and they have shapes that you can pick up drag and drop and he will sit for a good half an hour doing these he likes them a lot and he became slightly obsessed with the dinosaur game but i find that's really good for his like motor skills and stuff because he has to get very small pieces of puzzle and he's learning different ones like this one is obviously different pieces of puzzle and i think there's these type of ones with actual puzzle pieces as well which i think are really good because he's learning where things fit together rather than just having a oh here's a tree and a tree goes there you know so there's that one and the other one that is liam's fault is this one called dr panda's restaurant liam downloaded dr panda's restaurant number two and i downloaded number one but this is basically his cooking game um and it's really really simple it just gives you things that you have to make for customers and he finds the action of chopping fruit and mixing soup and making a pizza he loves those i'm very aware that i've gone very green it's just a panda game and you go in and you get your customers and they ask you to do certain stuff and he loves to play on those too so if we're ever stuck for something for him to do or you know we're out and about and we need to occupy him for a little while these kind of games are great and it keeps his mind working and like i said i did go for more of like the the alphabet shapes that kind of educational apps too so it's not all game games but he is learning at the same time i've also got the cbb's app which i absolutely love and i'll talk more about that at some point in the future but this is a fabulous app and lastly i wanted to talk about food because i touched on it a little bit in my two-year update for him but scout has become a super fussy eater he does not like many vegetables and i know that's probably a problem that a lot of parents hit at some point in a child's life so scout's top final favorite is pasta and garlic bread oh and pizza there you go that's more than one but my kid is a carb junkie he loves garlic bread pasta of any kind and pizza which you know it's all well and good we all love a bit of pasta and pizza but i really struggle to get veggies into him so on this point i'm asking you guys what can i do how can i hide and disguise vegetables that he may eat because at the minute just chopping it up really small and putting it into sauces is not working should i whiz them up should i do that kind of thing i feel like he's not actually going to be recognizing that he's eating vegetables so in a way even though i'm secretly getting them into him he's not learning to like them if that makes sense um but yeah he loves garlic bread we went out for dinner the other night i had garlic bread he stole it all and if we go out anywhere he will ask for pizza he's not a big fan of like chips he does like chicken nuggets and stuff like that like the the general kid junk food but if we're having a hearty meal we'll i'll do like a big bowl of like tomato pasta and you know fill it with really nice tasty stuff but on the most part he will pick out all the vegetables he will eat sweet corn at a push but he will pick out um broccoli and cauliflower and he won't eat green beans or peas or anything actually that's a lie he does eat peas on occasion but please let me know in the comments below what i can do to hide vegetables because this mama is getting a little bit frustrated <laughs>
So that is it for Scout's top five. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this idea and what kind of things you would like to see in future ones. What kind of categories would you like to see? I kind of thought of doing the general ones this time. Toys, food, TV, clothes, anything else. I know I could do things like songs, stories, places to go. I don't know. Um, so let me know in the comments below if there's anything specific you'd like to know what Scout's enjoying and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So please subscribe if you're new to my channel and hopefully I will see you very soon with a new one. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you then. Bye guys. I always go on about how my clothes need updating and that I don't like what's in my wardrobe so now I have the chance to chuck some stuff out.